Another seven inches of snow last night, guys. I'm sure you can't really see it from here, but we gotta put the heater on in there today because there's like over two feet of snow on that barn. And I'm not gonna have a problem getting out there because I got the Energizer Bunny over here. Richard, he pisses me off. He's got so much freaking energy. Look at him. And he don't do it slow either. It's like everything's in a hurry. Keep you posted. I wish I had that energy. Hey, Richard. Richard. Yeah. How's the roads today? They're, they're not worth being traveled on. Then what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> hey, it's either stupid you come to work or... Uh, stupid. Or, uh, I'm uh, committed to my work. Yes, you're committed to your work. Do me a favor, would you? What's Shovel that? me a path all the way to the barn so I don't have to walk in the snow. There is a path, no. Cheeseburger in it for you. So while Energizer buddy, buddy over there is finishing up the deck, I'm going to carry this kerosene to the barn. This is, there's got to be at least seven, eight inches here today now on top of everything else. And that's why I'm a little bit worried about the barn. Because Leia said there's over probably two feet of snow on that barn. And if something happens there, there goes my vacation. And I'm not going to risk that. So when we're done with that, hopefully we got a new starter and solenoid for the Bobcat. And that's the reason that this still isn't plowed. Because it's always something here in the wintertime. Ah, screw that. It's something here all the time. So we'll keep going. Again, I walked all the way over here and there's shit snow and I forgot to bring a funnel for the kerosene. But it'll give me an opportunity to show you guys the top of this barn. I don't know if you could tell, but that's deep. And not that Steve didn't build that roof again to where it would handle that. There's like a couple feet. I'm not going to take no chances when I want to get out of here. So carry on. I got back with the funnel. I poured $20 worth of kerosene into the goddamn heater. And just to prove to you that it's always something, watch this. Won't work. E2. That says over here that the sensor is bad. I tell you. It's the room temperature sensor. In there. $14 lousy part. But I gotta order it. God, eBay, you must love me. And it continues. I'm not even sure that the part that we took out of here is the room temperature sensor. <coughs> I don't know where Richard went. We were supposed to get parts for that. Turns out they sent us the wrong starter. We will not be open today, guys, just so you know. Not today. I'm going to go back out there and mess around with that damn heater again. I don't need my roof falling in for a $14 part. I found Richard. He made himself a fire while I'm busting my ass. That ain't like him. I hope he's got hot dogs and marshmallows. Where the hell are you? All the way back here to the house, and he's not here again. Oh, God. You'd be happy to know I haven't fallen down once today yet. Yet. Okay, I found another part on the heater that I think might be the room 
it's, it's probably a high limit switch, but baby, this time it's your turn. Take those two wires, put one on each one of those little things there. See the little things there? One there and one there. No. Just do it for me. Fuck! That ain't the problem. Now back to the shop. I don't know where Richard is. What are you doing? Putting this new solenoid in the bomb yet. How the hell can you work in a tiny little thing like this? <laughs> hey, this is all, this is all I got. It's not over here. Holy shit. Believe me, it was a bear to get the starter out. He pulled the starter out. And I tried to get in there to see if the starter was out. And my big fat head couldn't even get in there to see. Let alone him in there to pull it. I got the new plug. Here's another problem. The health inspector didn't like my my sink plug that I have in the hole over my my well. So he made me buy this. $30 for a piece of crap little plug. And the starter ain't right, so we won't have that till tomorrow, correct? Yeah. Yeah, Wh whoever the manufacturer was sent me a used starter. Sent a used starter. It cost, charged us the price of a new one. We're going to keep going. I'm going to go look on the internet and see if I can find a plug for that heater. Well, there you have it for today. I ordered a part. I'm not sure if it's the right one. It won't be here till Tuesday. This is Thursday. Hopefully the roof will survive that long. Richard will finish doing what he's doing and knowing him, he'll go out and start shoveling that deck again because it's deep. And there's more snow coming tomorrow. We won't be open today. It's about three o'clock. I'm gonna go home and go mess around in the fitness room for a while. I gotta get my mind off all this shit. Probably play on Facebook a little bit. Any of you guys know anything about Facebook limiting people's reach when they get mad at them? Because that's what happened with my other Johnny B's Lakeshore Grill and Pizza. 13,000 viewers or followers and it's only showing that it's reaching like 25 people and I'm only getting like one notification here and there. That page is useless now. So all you guys, if you see that, tell your friends, come to Johnny B's page for the cool and less sensitive. Follow, like, and we'll all get together here. So I love you guys. Like I said, it's about 10 to 3, and I'm done here today. Moving on. Love you all.